in this video, I'm going to teach you how to add apps to Google Nest Hub. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the proper method of adding different applications and services to your Google Nest device. As it stands today, you will not be downloading applications like you would with a phone or a tablet. You won't be able to open the Play Store and download apps directly within the Google Nest Hub. What you have to do is use Google Home, and after you set up Google Home and you have it connected within your account, you will be able to link different services which will act as applications. So to start, open Google Home. Within the Home app, you will be able to link different account and services, which in turn is going to add their respective applications inside of Google Nest Hub. So underneath services, you will be able to link them. Open the Google Home app and tap on settings at the bottom right. Now you will see the main options here. If you tap on linked apps, you will be redirected outside of the Google Home app. And if you tap video or music, you will be able to link the accounts directly from here. So, for example, if you tap on video, you will be able to link services that provide some sort of video or streaming capability. For example, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Viki, Star+, Plus, and so on. So, all that you have to do is link your account. As soon as you are signed in, so this is going to change to signed in, the service is now going to appear within Google Nest Hub. So you will see the Netflix app or service. You can do the exact same thing with Disney Plus, Viki. You can do the same thing with music providers. So Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, and so on. So all that you have to do is link these services through the Google Home app under your account page on the settings, and then they will automatically appear on your Google Nest device. So I hope I was able to help you. If this video helped you, please consider subscribing because as you can see, according to the channel metrics, 83% of the people watching our videos are not subscribed. By subscribing, you can help us make higher quality videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.